Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Bass and Intuitive Tarot. And in today's reading, I will be doing a quick weekly check-in look at Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus in regards to your love life. This is for May 12th through the 18th. However, my readings are timeless, so time is fluid. So whenever you stumble upon this reading is when you are meant to hear the message, okay? So if you stumble upon it in July 2022, it's when you were meant to see it, okay? of our spirits and guides what we have for libra sun moon rising and venus for the week of may 12th through the 18th or whenever they stumble upon this reading i will be using two separate decks for this reading one is the right away i will be using to represent your side of the story and then the gilded tarot to represent your partner's side of the story i will then be clarifying both using my mystical cat tarot deck i did so i can see if you guys are mirroring the same energies or are on the same page I will then be pulling three romance angel skin overview of your romantic situation. Then I will pull two psychic tarot for the heart oracle cards to get a little advice from spirit. Universe spirits and guides, what we have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of May 12th through the 18th, or whenever they stumble upon this reading. I've already done my pre-shuffling behind the scenes and made my intentions known, but I know you guys like to watch the shuffling on camera, so I'm doing it during my preamble. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Please hit subscribe. We have fun at Best and Into the Tarot Land. And if you're returning, thank you for all the loving support you guys have given me. From donations to lovely, beautiful comments in the comments section, you guys really have lifted me up. I, I mean, you think I'm helping you, but really you're helping me. Every morning I read those comments and it just puts a huge smile on my face. I appreciate every single one of you. I am super duper grateful. I mean it. Universe Spirits and Guides, what do we have for Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? All right, I'm sure you guys are done watching the shuffling, so let's get the show on the road. Two more shuffles. Let's rock this deck. I hope you guys are doing awesome. Libra, over on your side. The overall energy on the bottom of your deck is the Three of Cups. Somebody's reuniting. Reunited and it feels so good. Could be dealing with a Cancerian or Pisces Scorpio. But regardless, you are finally reuniting with a pal. It doesn't have to be a love interest, but I feel like it is. This is definitely someone you you put more stock in your friendship versus the the sexual part of it. But I definitely pick up on the fact that you guys are attracted to each other. Definitely attracted to each other. However, I feel like you guys have been friends for a while. Anywhere between a few months to a couple of years. This, this person's your buddy. This person is not just your lover. This person's also your best bud that you celebrate everything with. And I feel like you've been separated from this person for a little bit. Maybe not too long, but at least a hot minute. But now you're reuniting. You're either going to meet up and have a few drinks together, staying safe, and or you're just, you're finally going to reconnect. You're finally going to reconnect with someone who really means a lot to you. This is great. This is a great start, Libra. All right, over on your person's side. Now, if you feel like you resonate more with your person's side of the table, take it however it resonates. Flip-flop the characters. They are interchangeable. It's however it resonates. However, don't try and fit a square into a circle, okay? If it doesn't resonate, do check out your moon, your rising, or Venus. Or check back next week. All right, team of our spirits and guides. King of Pentacles wanted to come out. I don't do uh, flippers for the initial layout, only when I clarify, but the King of Pentacles wanted to come out. All right, two more. All right, let's rock the deck. All right, over on your partner's side, their overall energy on the bottom of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune. Dang it, this is great. What a great start. Whatever happens right now, it is faded. It is faded, you guys. Luck is on your side. This whatever happened is it's meant to happen and regardless of the outcome, it was meant to happen to you and you're going to be happy. Oh my god, I just got like a wave of positive energy right now. Combine that with the celebration. This is going to be amazing. And what's under that is Eight of Pentacles, somebody might might be making more of an effort this time around 
as they weren't maybe before. But regardless, somebody's finally making an effort and if this is fated to happen and luck is on your side. This is great. This is great. I love it. But let's keep going. Aw, you were feeling rejected, huh? Where are you, Libra? Or you were rejecting somebody else. But I feel like this person's coming back. I feel like you're going to reunite with them. So this feeling of sadness and isolation is soon to be lifted. You're getting your friend back. Or you're leaning on your friends for support. But I'm, I'm picking up on your love interest returning. I feel like somebody may have been a little depressed for a while and decided to step out a little bit and just be alone. A lot of people have been acting like that lately. Their emotions are all over the place. But I feel like you've got a friend here who's going to be waving an offer in front of you, either asking you to come out, go out for drinks, or just do some FaceTiming. Somebody here wants to reconnect with you. Somebody here, you can be also dealing with a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. But yeah, somebody misses you. And I feel like you felt left out. I feel like you thought this person was gone for good, not realizing they were just taking some time to themselves too. So you have kind of felt like this little guy stuck against a tree getting butt splinters. But this person's coming back. They're coming back and they're going to bring the extra cups. You got all the cups over here. You guys are going to be celebrating. There's a reunion on the, on the horizon. Oh, jeez, Libra. This person wants the Ten of Pentacles with you. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could be in their chart or you could have Earth in your chart. Someone sees long-term longevity with you and they're going to talk about this during this reunion. They miss you. I'm really picking up on someone who's missed you a lot, Libra. Or you've been missing them. I feel like it's equal. It's mutual. I think this, this reunion is going to be talking about future plans. A lot of people right now are really picking who they want to continue to be in their life and who don't belong in their life anymore. It was this, this quarantine kind of felt like a cleaning out my closet type of moment. A lot of people have been really getting rid of things that don't serve them any longer. They're quitting jobs that they no longer want. They're starting new businesses because of the layoffs that recently happened. A lot of people are making really life changing moves right now. And a lot of people are getting rid of people who who just bring negativity to their life and welcoming people who bring them up instead of bringing them down. This is great. This is great. A brand new passionate beginning Libra. Oh my god. This could be a fire sign you're dealing with. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. This person, this this is happening. This is the same arm. The same arm. It's, I, I'm like picturing this person like in your face going, snap out of it, come on, hang out, let's, let's go hang out, let's go meet up, I haven't seen you in a while, come on, come on, like a hyper little kid, excited to see their friend. We haven't seen each other in a month or two, come on, let's go play. <laughs> I'll wear my masks, I will keep distance from you, but I gotta see your eyes. If I can't see your face, I'll at least see your eyes. <laughs> You're getting an invite from somebody, somebody misses you, somebody misses you. I'm definitely picking up on someone who's been missed. Page of Pentacles. I saw the Page of Pentacles under here too. Somebody wants to present an offer. Somebody wants to present an offer. Again, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or they can have it in their chart or you have it. This person had plenty of time to think of what they wanted in their life. This person has thought about you. This person has thought about you. Could be dealing with a Cancerian. This person loves you. This person has missed you. This person has stared out the window just daydreaming about you. Felt like you guys were pulled apart by things that were outside of your, your control. This has been a hard time. I'm definitely picking up on some Libras who have missed their buddy. And when I say buddy, I also mean love interest, but I feel like you guys cherish your friendship more than anything else. 
you love each other so much, you love each other unconditionally, but first and foremost, your guys' friendship is very important to you guys, and that's awesome. That That's what makes a strong foundation before a relationship blossoms. This person really misses their pal. You're not just their lover, you're, you're their pal, and they stay off into like zoning mode, just daydreaming about you. They daydream about you a lot. I miss my Libra. I miss my Libra. I need to see my Libra. They want to add balance to the situation. Six of Pentacles. Heavy Earth here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They miss you and they want to come in and give you equal reciprocity. I feel like you were giving a lot to them at one point. And they weren't because I think they were shutting down emotionally. I'm definitely picking up on someone who was kind of a little bit depressed at one point. But something happened recently that just gave them a new new sense of being. A new revitalization. Just a new pep in their step. A new desire to take on the world. Somebody has just been revitalized. And they're coming for you. Let's clarify. Alright, I want to clarify the Four of Cups. I want to know more about the Four of Cups. I mean, I know why the Four of Cups. Whoa! Two cards just flew out. The Ace of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You see this hand? They're coming in with some truths. They want to talk to you. They want to bring some truth and clarity to the situation. But I feel like you kind of got your guard up right now. Just like the, the guy in this picture. Guy or girl, doesn't matter. See how he's kind of like sulking, pouting. Kind of like, where'd you go? You just took off on me and you stopped talking to me. So, whatever. So you kind of got your guard up right here with this person coming in wanting to give you some truth and clarity about the situation and be like, look, I'm sorry I wasn't talking to you. I'm sorry I wasn't engaging with you, but I had a lot on my mind and I was depressed. I was a little bit sad, but I miss my buddy and I miss you. They're going to give you truth and clarity and they're going to try and break your walls down. They're going to try and give you some truth and clarity on the situation. Give me, um, I want to know more about this page of pentacles. Give me two on the oh, page of pentacles, please. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Give me two on the page of pentacles. Why is the page of pentacles here? One more. Oh my god, this is great. On the bottom is the magician. Behind the scenes... Behind the scenes, divine timing was at play here. King of Wands. Two of Cups. Magician. And the Ten of Cups again. You guys, a lot of work has been going on behind the scenes that you don't know about. Divine timing has been at play. Divine timing has been at play. But there's a lot of manifesting happening behind the scenes on both your parts. Even if you don't even realize you've been doing it, you were manifesting this connection. And this person's manifesting this reunion. But what came out, what clarified the Page of Pentacles, guys, is the Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. You got the Ace of Wands two times, and you got the Ace of Sky. That's three beginnings. One double confirmation about this new beginning, being passionate and like a new zest for life from this person. But they see you as a partnership, or you could have met them at work, but they see that they work well with you. They definitely work well with you. And they're coming in to bring some balance to the situation. 
They're going to come in and reun reunite with you and give you an offer. And it's going to be surrounded by a passionate new beginning with some truth and clarity. Revolving around a Ten of Pentacles. I got the Ten of Pentacles twice. I got the Ace of Wands twice. And I got the Ace of Swords. You guys. They want a partnership with you. Give me two cards for the possible outcome, please. Give me two cards for the possible outcome. Give me two cards for the possible outcome. When they unite. Give me one more. On the bottom of the deck is the Sky Queen, which is the Queen of Swords. They have been acting cold and detached because they want to bring you truth and clarity. They want truth. And they're gonna bring truth. They're gonna let you know why they've been a little bit quiet. And they hit a crossroads, the two of wands. And they see you as their empress. Which is also a Taurus Libra as a reader. And Leo Sagittarius Aries. They were at a crossroads. Either they should stay and be sad and isolated, or they reach out and start a new beginning with you. And they chose you because they see you as their empress. Gender doesn't matter right here. It could be a guy or girl. They see you as abundant. They see you as someone who lights up their life. There's darkness when you're not around. There's darkness when you're not around. They see you as a very loving person. You are their best friend. Let me get three romance angels. Let me get three romance angels. Give me two more. Give me one more. All right. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Exactly. Divine timing is at play. You can't control the situation. It's happening regardless of what you do. So just release control and let it happen naturally. The more you stress about it, you're not doing yourself any good. Children could have been a factor in this situation from slowing down. This situation could involve children. So maybe coming together with you was not the right time because they had to take care of some responsibilities at home or they needed to stay home isolated with, with their kids during the quarantine and away from anybody else but children was a factor and stay optimistic about your love life positive thinking and faith will bring you romance all right, let's get two advice cards. Universe Spirits and Guides, give me two advice cards for Libra. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. Give me one more. This person wants to seek you out and give you the truth. They're coming to prepare an offer for you. They're coming to reunite with you. They're going to seek you out and give you the truth. Win or lose, observe. This is the Five of Swords in this deck. You were having a lot of inner conflict and your person was having a lot of inner conflict but it wasn't helping you guys out. You guys weren't doing any service for yourself. You guys were both in your head about this. But you need to observe the situation for what it is. This is a new beginning that's coming. This is a new beginning. You got so many beginnings. You got the Ace of Swords. You got two sets of Ace of Wands. You got the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, you got the Queen of Cups. You got the Wheel of Fortune. Come on now. This is great. All right, Libra, that's your weekly check in. My weeklies are a little bit shorter because I get really thorough on the monthly. So, till next time, hit like, hit subscribe, leave me a comment down below what you think of my new channel, and share, share, share. And as always, thank you for joining Fast and Intuitive Tarot. Later.